<clears throat> okay, uh, we're really excited about uh, these foam cutters that we uh, picked up. We had uh, previously a damselfly one, as well as a beaver tail, and uh, we've since uh, gotten one in the uh, stonefly cutter or stonefly um, or hopper uh, pattern. So I'm going to try making something with this one. This is our newest one. But while we're at it, might as well just uh, show you the uh, other stuff that was the beaver tail pattern. And this is that stonefly hopper. And then there's that damselfly or dragonfly. You can see the different patterns that it makes. And then what we're going to be using is a size 12 hook, a size 10, and a size 8. And we'll just use these silly legs right here. And what it comes with is these little foam pads or um, hard um, cushy pads that you can use to cut um, the uh, pattern. So let's go ahead and show you what uh, we mean by cutting. Here's a piece of two millimeter foam. And here's that damsel. And we only really need one of these. So we'll go ahead and um, show you what we have here. You take this and pretty much put it on the pad and press and the end result is a little pattern right there and we'll just pop it out real quick here it makes a consistent pattern this is one that we like using in the uh, summer when the uh, dragonflies are starting to pop up and down or the damselflies and we definitely get some bass as well as some uh, bluegill and sunfish taking them. So that's the damselfly pattern. Here's the little hopper, stonefly or hopper pattern. We'll just do the same thing here. Just line it to the edge and then push. And it's a very sharp uh, blade. There it is. We'll just pop it out again. And this is the one that we'll be using a size 10 hook. And normally would be fishing it in this manner, or at least tying it in this manner to make the stone fly pattern. Instead, we're going to flip it around and make that the head of the grasshopper. This is the beaver hill pattern, I guess. Um, we don't use this one as much. We mainly use it to um, build up some bigger um, grasshoppers, as well as... Um, some indicator rigs so this one will just uh, show you the pattern that it cuts and then from there you can um, determine how you want to use it if you decide to get one yourself a lot of times what we'll hear is you'll take two of them on top of each other tie them add a little uh, uh, I believe it's uh, elk hair and put your hook on there and there's your hopper pattern. For this uh, round we're just going to show the damselfly and that little grasshopper and here's the idea of the beaver. 